All right, told you I'd get my packer out. Morning all, welcome back to the big barn build and there's an air of uncertainty around at the moment because I'm trying to work out the best course of action for all this material going forward. So as you saw in the last video, already I've managed to start a proper full-on pile over there of, uh, of all the concrete blocks and that's just a small percentage of what's going to be coming out of here, bearing in mind that this whole slab's got to come up. It's out of the way though, and we can stack it there and then we can decide whether we're gonna get it crushed or whether we're just gonna take it off site. Now, yesterday I was saying, let's get it crushed and use it to sort out the levels in here. Um, having just spoken with a concrete contractor who we'll, may well be using for doing the, the initial, the big slab in here, he said it just, it just doesn't bind in the same way as the type one, so if I can, um, avoid that you use that elsewhere around the house you know might be fine for farm buildings or something um but don't use it inside especially if we're going to do polished concrete or anything like that we want this as stable as possible now we know that we've got a decent sub base here already because that's what this was built like and we've got excess of this type one here which was built above ground level so we do have surplus even though i was hoping to use it in tracks and gateways hopefully we've got enough of it spare anyway so the plan is to use this to level the floor. So we'll end up with the whole barn looking like this, but compacted and all the big bits taken out. That means I need to work out where to put stuff. I've taken a dumper load down the field, chewed up the field, decided against that. So I'm not gonna do any more. But I think what I'm gonna do is replicate what I've done this side. So I've banked it up over the other side of that curb. Unfortunately, I spent this morning moving all of this stuff this way uh, in fact i'm going to put it back over that side of that curb then we can drag it all back this way and work on this afterwards once i've cleared everything away and maybe just maybe get my pecker out and having a go at, at this slab because we're already at the edge of a slab and it's unsupported i'm hoping that i can kind of start nibbling away there and then just work back into the middle and just hope that it's not reinforced <laughs> All right, told you I'd get my pecker out. Pecker's out, it's on, it's working. I had a little nibble just now. Still questioning myself on this, but I think it's gotta happen. It's just, it will be a colossal amount of concrete needed to level this. And you've got to remember that we've got stupid amounts of services to run in trenches under here, some new footings for some oak posts and things like that that it's not like we're leaving the whole slab intact anyway. Plus every one of these strips, which is about quarter of the floor area, needs to be concreted in anyway. Then we would have to pull the slab on to level it. I'm trying to justify it to myself in my head, but I think we just gotta bite the bullet and do this. So what we're breaking out is a lovely slab. Uh, it might not be like this all the way across because I think there's a different age section in the middle, but it's absolutely sound. It's on a really good, sub base there's no voids it's really dense and it's just such a shame so this is 150 mil no reinforcement not a crack on it uh, which is good so what we want to do is to sub this as little as possible use a pecker i don't think i'm going to need the floor saw in this area i'm hoping that i can just break out as long as they're decent sized chunks and i'm not bashing away all week with this because it's the most droning thing to listen to so i'm going to break my way through it 
and hopefully we'll end up with a fairly clean stone base afterwards and we can just start from scratch and uh, get it all prepped, get our levels right, get some sand down, DPM. Of course, we can do it properly with the DPM under the slab and the insulation as well, whereas we would have had to have been putting it higher up in the build here. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to get in there and get a podcast on and hack away. I've got a load of packers over here as well. Well, that is a pretty tedious task. Of course, you're not having to break your sweat over it, but it's pretty repetitive, noisy, pretty quieter in the cab than it is everywhere else. But I've broken out about a quarter or a fifth of it, I guess. Obviously, I don't want to forget the fact that I've still got to come back in and break out all this, but that'll have to be next week. So I've gone from the gateway up there to this point here it's a pretty consistent slab it really was a good job whoever laid it uh, but it's got to go and it will be recycled and uh, we will repurpose it but anyway we're going to get it out there's no need to be sentimental about it and hopefully it's going to leave us with a fairly decent amount of type one underneath but only time will tell Teach me for rushing. All right, pins in now. Let's actually make a start. Good morning all, back on it. It's pretty repetitive this slab breaking so I haven't filmed too much of it but it's getting it done. It's just, yeah, it's a noisy, clattery thing to do. Um, so I'm just kind of jumping between having the packer on there and the bucket and doing a section at a time just so it's not droning for hours on end. I'm probably a third of the way across. Still pretty decent thickness slab. Still feel like it's a shame that we've had to tear it up but I think we've justified that to ourselves. Um, and just because of the amount of other digging that needs to go on on here, it'll be, it would end up just being a huge patchwork. I'd rather start from scratch. I'm trying to get bigger joints up now. So rather than chip away and end up with loads of little bits, which is, takes longer and is noisier, I'm kind of doing more spread out pecs, hoping that the strength of the digger, I can pull those up as larger slabs. And it seems to be working pretty well.
it's day three of pecking. Uh, it's pretty tedious work this and I, I fear that we're only about halfway through. I keep saying, oh yeah, we're, we're well, probably not even halfway through, third of the way through. Um, because we still got all of that the far end and then these runs down each side of the next bay. So it's definitely going to take a, a solid week of getting all this prep done, but I think it'll be well worth doing. Now, interestingly, while I carry on with that, uh, we just had our first site visit from a, uh, a supplier or a trade and you wouldn't believe what it is. It's only the swim, swimming pool guy. <laughs> of all the things that we should be doing right now, a, a, a mythical swimming pool that just there is no budget for um, is what we're looking at first. Mainly because while we've got access and while I've got machinery and it just makes sense to dig any holes we can but it's now got to the point um i'll go into this in more in, uh, in more detail in the future but it's now got to the point where we may end up doing the swimming pool before anything else and then boarding over that's how i've started my day a nice uh, 7 30 in the morning meeting anyway pecker on digger running podcast on